thank you so much for coming. Uh, hopefully this is going to be the beginning of doing a few of these kinds of talks and, you know, local, like, getting people out and more interested in, you know, participating not only with Up and Out, but just getting running and doing stuff locally here would be great. Um, in case you don't know, which probably most people wouldn't know, my name's Adam, Adam Hill. Uh, I've been doing endurance sports, whether it's been cycling, running, or a little bit of each one. Uh, I've been doing this kind of stuff a long, long time. Uh, so this first talk I th was more just to kind of, because we are finally feels like we're moving into fall, this idea of like, you know, uh, if we're as, as being runners or outdoor athletes or just people that want to be outside this time of year, you know, transitioning into still enjoying things into the fall and early winter and like how do we do this stuff was the idea was here to just kind of go over you know how to be out there and enjoy it as best as you can uh, however this time of year uh, we've been actually really quite lucky because we've, we've had no snow yet so uh, they haven't come by and sanded the roads or anything like that or you don't have any kind of that residual uh, ice or anything like that yet or once we get into this season and things get wet and slippery I've moved more even if I'm running around town in some kind of a trail type of shoe, a shoe that has a bit more aggressiveness to it and stability. Uh, like I'll just quickly show you, like if I, like for running around starting into getting into this time of year, this, like if you look at this shoe here, there is like a bit of a, more of a tread if you see compared to your traditional road running shoe. The, the type of rubber that most trail running shoes use even in their like shoes that aren't super aggressive like this are soft rubber so they actually do stick to the ground a lot more just the way same way like your snow tires do so there's a lot of other things with this that your traditional uh, road shoe doesn't have like the the mesh that's here is a bit more tight fitting so you don't get like a lot of debris in there and you can also choose shoes um, through like this line or with the solomon shoes that have, you know, like some kind of water resistance or waterproof going on too. Like having a shoe that actually has like, I don't know if you can really see that here, but like something that's a lot more aggressive certainly allows you to provide a tremendous amount of traction and stability when you're running. So, um, so that's that. So the, probably the biggest thing though, for this time of year, especially with the changes in temperature and stuff, is probably like the, actually the clothing we wear. And, um, you know, I think, in my mind, making the investments to find some good pieces of clothing make a massive difference. Nice thing is, is that whatever company you choose, like for here, we're you know, gonna show some uh, Innovate products and a couple of Solomon products, is that they're high, high quality and they last a long time. Like, like I have some jackets that I've had for probably 15 years that are still, like I've taken care of and they're still working perfectly since the first day I bought them. So like, so this is Innovate jacket, uh, this is like, a, this is a waterproof jacket and most of them will tell you somewhere on the label. Um, so Pertex, this company here, makes waterproof material. It's the same as like a Gore-Tex material. This is just a different company. If, if, if some, if a company's advertising like a waterproof jacket that's $100, it probably just has some kind of spray coating on it. That's not gonna allow, like if you wash it once, it's probably, done. A company like Innovate, like with this jacket, they're compressing the materials that make the waterproof with this fabric inside that make it also breathable. As soon as you start sweating, you, you build up heat inside. So you need, not only do you need something that has a waterproof type of coating, but something that's going to let that water vapor come out. So there's this, the way mo all of these waterproof materials work is that it's not like there's a rubber coating on things. There's like all these little holes actually in this jacket that the holes are too small for the water to actually get in, but, there's, but they're big enough that the vapor that's coming off of your body allows that vapor to kind of come out of the jacket. It is, I, I think, one of those things like a good jacket is a good investment piece. You know, pick a color that you like and you think you're gonna have for a long time. <laughs> because it's, it's certainly, it's gonna, it's, it's a very valuable piece to have. And this one though is just a wind resistant jacket and it, and it also, it says so right on the label. Dip your jacket because you're hot, they have these kind of neat little features like there's this clip here. So 
so when you unzip, your jacket's not flailing all over the place. You kind of look like you have a cape on, but, but you know, like it's not blowing around all over the place. So water, this is also a waterproof jacket. It's half the weight, but it's, they've basically t taken the zipper, cut it in half, compressed the layers a little bit more, and it's meant just for like stashing it away. So kind of keeping in this, the upper body bit here for now, uh, these are, uh, they become more and more popular, but this is a, like an arm sleeve. So it's just, so instead of having to wear necessarily like a, like a long sleeve, uh, this allows you to uh, just put this on like this. It's a nice tight, tight fitting. And it, 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 there again, it's, it, even though it's a super thin fabric, it actually keeps you quite warm. Also, it's, the nice thing is, is that if you, if you do overheat or you feel like you're getting warmer, they're pretty easy to take off. So you can... Then we move into uh, like something like this, which is like a, a mid-layer piece that has, uh, there's a bit of weight to this, uh, and it also keeps you uh, nice and warm. Uh, it can be worn on its own, like an afternoon now where it seems to have stopped raining, or even if it was uh, even a bit cooler, uh, this, this has the ability to work well on its own because uh, it does most of these mid, mid weight, weight, they call them mid weight pieces, uh, have a bit of wind resistance to the front, but uh, very, very highly breathable. Solomon tight right here has, as the label shows, the whole front of this tight right down to the knee is all like a Gore-Tex wind stopper material. So like, I'm telling you, like the difference that that makes in your ability to go out there when it's minus five or even like minus 15, it's incredible. It's become quite popular to move into carrying some kind of a pack or a vest or something like that too. So um, the one that I've used for quite a few years, um, these have actually become quite popular. They're super lightweight. So this has like little pockets in it. So usually my, instead of carrying my phone with me, like I can, I put my phone in here, carry a little headlamp here. Um, and in the back, there's a pocket for carrying your jacket and stuff like that too. So if you are venturing out into our local Simcoe County forest areas this time of year, uh, do keep in mind that we are getting into hunting season. Um, I, I typically, and not necessarily, I wouldn't say I'm not deterred from going out in the forest this time of year, but I certainly am careful not to be out like in the very beginning of the morning or very beginning of the afternoon. So, you know, you just have to be aware, be aware of your surroundings with that kind of stuff because it, it's, it's here and um, some kind of bright color is always good. You know, you certainly have to think about how you're fueling your body a little bit better when you're out running. And I certainly find myself that I kind of use a lot more energy because you're using energy not only to run, but also your body's trying to keep a bit warmer. So, uh, you know, you, this is a good time to think about, you know, bringing a few little pieces of nutrition with you and whether that's some kind of a gel or a food bar or something. Uh, it's always good to just kind of stash in a pocket. There again, I think the idea of like fall running is, it is one of my favorite times of year to be out there. But, you know, at the same time, um, you know, dressing for it is probably really important to make sure that you're out enjoying it as best as you can. Uh, the, I think the right gear makes a big difference, so.